Wow, I can't believe 2023 is almost over. A brand new year is almost here. Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Florentino Ramirez and welcome to my channel, My Kinda Art. For this video, I just wanted to look back at everything that I accomplished in my art channel, my art drawings, my art practice, and everything when it came to making money as an artist with different side hustles and different print-on-demand websites and finally getting the courage to start my Skillshare class and becoming an art teacher and becoming an art teacher on Skillshare and uploading my classes there and teaching through pop culture with my own spin on learning how to draw realistically with pencils. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, please hit that like button, ring the bell, leave a comment because that will help out my channel greatly. And let's get to it. So one of the things that I like to do with my art is ha always have a tiny sketchbook where I can just sketch out any type of fan art, any idea that I have of the day, and experiment with different art supplies. Like for example, ballpoint pens, if I feel like drawing with pencils, ink pens, markers, color pencils, and everything in between. And this year I dedicated an entire sketchbook to just drawing with cheap ballpoint pens in black. And one of the reasons I chose to do this was that it forced me to see how far I can push those type of ballpoint pens when it comes to the way that I like to draw, which is a bit more of a realistic look and see how far I can make things look realistic when adding shadows, even when it comes to things like comic book characters like this Ninja Turtles and seeing how much depth I can add when it comes to shadows and light. And I had so much fun doing this type of method with just one type of art medium that I'm going to continue this type of uh, trend for myself and see what other type of supplies I can use for my other sketchbooks that I will eventually complete. Speaking of sketchbooks, this year for Inktober, I decided to draw on my, the largest sketchbook that I have, which is around 10 by 13 or 10 by 14 sketchbook. And this is where I jot down all of my ideas and this time during Inktober although I only completed around five drawings I decided to use ink dip pens and actually although I had fun with it this was actually a mistake because these type of pages were so thin that a lot of it bled through so I made sure to not grab as much ink as I could and lightly do my cross hatching that I did but the ones that I did make actually were really fun to do. And again, if you guys have noticed in my channel that I'm always experimenting and just drawing with a lot of different mediums. And one of the reasons I decided to do ink dip pens was because it had been so long that I used these traditional dip pens. And I just wanted to see if I can improve in using them and if I would like to do it again. For example, I decided to draw things like these spiders, a dream catcher type of a demon with a girl on a bed having a nightmare, and this Wizard of Oz drawing of all of these iconic characters from Dorothy, the Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and Toto, all walking into the Yellow Brick Road. My, people come and go so quickly here. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. And I don't know if you're like me, but I enjoy drawing tiny, tiny drawings and all these type of sketches because I feel like I can challenge myself and see how far I can push the detail. And because a lot of my pencils, dip pens, and even these Micron ink pens as well, they are so fine point that you can do these type of cross hatching and hatching lines to make it seem that there's more detail than there actually is by using techniques like a lot more detail in the foreground and less of it in the background. And another thing I noticed about 2023 is that I always like to do some kind of a painting and just in general paintings do take a long time and although this one was the smallest one that I've ever done I knew I wasn't going to do a lot of paintings this year so that's why I opted to use these canvas boards which was only around five inches by eight inches and I'm a fast painter so I actually took my time with this one and made an entire tutorial video out of it. And because I have so many of these and some other larger canvas boards, I will be making a lot more paintings for 2024 because I just had so much fun and I missed doing these. And again, my channel focuses on a lot of pencil drawings, pen drawings, 
traditional and digital as well. But because I like to switch it up every now and then, paintings is just another way of me experimenting with colors as well. And there's just something about both acrylic painting and oil paint that's very therapeutic because for me, hours just go by in a flash. I get into my zen mode and I just feel relaxed and I'm happy to try and challenge myself with the art piece that I'm trying to paint. So expect a lot more painting live streams in 2024. Now this is the topic that I wanted to save for the very end. Making Skillshare classes was one of those goals that I had in mind for about a year or two before I even started everything. I remember hesitating to even start this process only because I felt like I had no idea if the topics that I chose would even be interesting or if people would, would even want to watch it. I remember having the idea of teaching through pop culture, through fandom, for example, where I would draw characters like Yoda, singers and movie stars and famous icons from American pop culture and just around the world. And I felt like that was the way that I taught myself to not go by the rule books of college courses, which I took and those type of university by the book courses where they seem to be a lot boring, where they just teach you to draw simple shapes and objects and just boring models. So I decided to do things that people would actually like. So that's why I chose celebrities because why not draw something that you like? You'll have a lot more fun learning to draw that figure and learn in the process. And you know what? After publishing three courses, I had so much fun and learned so much. So just a bit of advice for any of you who are starting something new, just go ahead and try it out. Make sure you do your research, watch a lot of videos on that topic that you want to do, write everything down, take notes, that's exactly what I did before I came up with my topics. And now I can't wait to do even more classes for 2024. And it's paying off. So if anyone who's hesitating to try something new, just go for it. Because trust me when I say this, there's an audience for everything and you never know who will be watching. And another thing that I'm going to be doing a lot more of is combining both traditional and digital, like you see right here with Freddy Krueger, where I'm going to take a traditional drawing, which is normally in black and white, take a picture of it, transfer it to Procreate, and digitally color it right there. And what I'm also going to do a sneak peek of is the courses that I'm working for on Skillshare for next year. These are the type of courses that I'm going to do. For example, here is Frida Kahlo. And I'm going to do an entire course on how to digitally paint something realistically from a traditional and now into a digital painting. So before I go, let me know what you guys have learned for 2023 as an artist. Any type of fears you accomplished, any type of goals that you set for yourself, that you took the plunge in, that you challenged yourself to do, comment down below. And just remember, always have some positive vibes with yourself. As artists, we are hard on ourselves more than anyone else. Start telling yourself things that you're good at positive vibes, positive advice, manifest what you want and go for it. And thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in 2024. See you later. Bye-bye.